Hi everyone, it's Doreen with Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. This is part of one of my kits that I created. I'll show you how I put this together in case you want to make one for yourself. I'd like to say hi to all my new subscribers and all of my returning ladies who like to watch my videos. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am just having such a wonderful time organizing my craft room and trying to get things together. So just have out here this little snippet and this has just got lots of little bits on it. I'm just going to slide it off. I made this with trims and little bits of chiffon material and this cute little heart. I also coffee dyed this heart right here and I will insert a clip adding a little bit with this right here. This is just a brush I got on Amazon. It's a gel brush for makeup and it works perfect for dabbing on the coffee. So yeah, this is how they turned out. They're so pretty. I love the white and the texture. So this is coffee dyed. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? I love the color. And I just dabbed a little bit of coffee here until I got the look that I wanted and then it's all finished. Okay, all right. So I'll be back when they're all ready to go. Okay, so here are the hearts. They are all complete. I did 31 hearts all together and made one for myself as well. So here's what they will look like. Those are the heart of friendship. So lots of little bits that you can make your little heart and decorate it with. Just love that. And then on the ends, I just tied a rhinestone little bead here and I tied a little pink wooden bead here. So I just knotted it three times and tied it on the end. Booklet. And it just has papers in it from a jewel design, and some envelopes, lots of pretty little bits in there. Just a quick little paper journal that can be put together and bound if they want to. There's a tag and a little um, postcard stamp and then some lace on the edge here of this tag. And then I made a snippet on the cover and then here is a cute little um, vintage tag with some lace on it. And I also made this here and it's pinned on. So it can just stay like that or it can be taken apart and vintage dress that I took all these sequins out of. I kind of just cut a piece out isn't that pretty? Lots of little sequins in there. It's so sparkly. And then I just used two of these bronze, kind of a almost a rustic looking pin here to hold everything on. And then you have these pieces as well, or the journal. So that just goes on top of there. And let me get on to the inside here. This is what I wanted to show you. So I just had it folded like this and I have this image here. So here I have this lace wrapped around as the closure. Prima. Okay. I just have a paper clip here. And this is just, you know, a strip of paper that I distressed the edges and left it if they wanted to add their own ink to it. And it's, it's almost like your coffee dyed look, but it's just a pretty tan color. So I have that on the back. And then this is the envelope. Inside the envelope, since I took the paper clip off, these are falling out, but I did this. I did this little tuck spot here. And then I also did this. Every job is a self-portrait of the person who does it. Autograph your work with excellence. A little coin envelope with some crocheted trim with hearts. Isn't that sweet? I love the puffy hearts. Such a tiny little heart too. So yeah, I put that in there and then I tucked in one of these crocheted pieces. I didn't feel too bad cutting on it because it was falling apart. And then I added this tag right here. 
This is from Country at Heart 2008. I used my own punch for the top. So that's why the hole is not completely, you know, filled in. Because what I did is I am not a fussy cutter. And she kind of had a tag that was shaped like this one. So I cut the tags off, you know, where it was supposed to be cut, you know, the hole. And then I cut it straight off and then I used my punch to make the tag. So it made it a lot easier for me for sure. And when you open it, this is what it looks like in here. And then here I added this cute little image. This is from Prima, Frank Garcia. And I rounded the corners here just to give it a different look. This one here, I just added a, um, a stamp. It looks like this. This is the stamp I used. And I just stamped it very lightly. It wasn't trying to be real particular on how I stamped it. It's supposed to look like an old receipt, but this is a picture frame digital. Here is just a little telegram. I made it very small. It's really cute though. That's there. And then here is, these are some vintage labels that have the rotary the holes that used to stick it in the um, printer and I um, coffee dyed these as well I got this idea from Jennifer who's a trace of sparkle on YouTube she had shown these in one of her videos a while back and I said I need to find those cool looking circle things right and I went through my stash recently and I found that I had these already. And I was like, oh my gosh, I almost ordered them from like eBay or something. I can't remember where, but I haven't seen these anywhere recently. So if you guys see these things that have these holes on it, these are just so cool to coffee dye. So again, I coffee dyed this and um, put it in the oven and then baked it. And then you get this nice crunchy, you know, crunchy feeling that we love. And then I took scissors and I, I just cut the edges because you know I like that, that roughly kind of effect on, on the paper too as well. I always like to do that on my papers. It's kind of like you ripped it out of an old book or something. So I put that on the edge here just to give it something, some color, you know, behind this. And then I made a little snippet here to use on the paper clip. It's just attached to the paper clip and it's just lots of little bits of things. I just thought it looked so cute on the corner and it made this paper clip really, so you don't have to, you know, glue anything down. You can take it apart or you can just use it this way. Um, I love doing that with my paper clips now. I just find that it's just so much easier to, you know, add those little bits to these paper clips. Pearl little circle there on top of a pin and I did pin this down as well. So I pinned it all of these things down to this piece of lace right here. This is off of a wedding dress. And this is the lining where they kind of sew it on the edge. I cut them so that they're right there close to the edge like as if I sewed it myself because I don't sew. So I just kind of made it look like that. And it's tulle underneath, see that? And then lace. So I kind of just made that little bow by just tying the lace. Anyway, it's really cute, right? So I just did that and then here, I took this cute little thing here. I added a little applique here and a pin. And I wanted this little booklet to be able to be altered. These were images again from Jewel Design. So I just added, I added this really pretty piece of lace here. So this could be used to embellish. And I also, added a piece up here and then I made it into a booklet style so that it could be you know altered in a mini book or an embellishment or it could be cut out so lots of different uses for this paper and they're so pretty I love these papers the colors are just gorgeous this is one of my favorites right here it has everything I love all the colors and the pearls and the script writing and the guest check and all the pretty little things that we we all probably love this right and then I added this little um, mint green car postel and then this is the back 
So I added that also. And then over here is two more tags. Just pretty little laces on the edge. Peeking out. I like it to stick out the top. So, And then this is a heart doily. How perfect that is for this kit. So you have this right here, right? So this is what it looks like. And then right here, I followed a tutorial on the Savvy, Savvy that she had made her own washi tape. And I was like, oh my gosh, what a genius idea. And I'm sure she followed someone else's tutorial. I think it was um, Sagita. I think she said Sagita. Let me show you that tape. Take your one inch tape like this and from Amazon, it's like $6 a roll and you can make a ton of it. And I was trying to figure out how I was gonna put these together for 30 people with my washi that I, I only have like one style of washi. So I, this was perfect for that. So I used Jewel Design Digitals as well and I just took some of the images and, and ripped them apart and collaged onto the tape. So what you do is you take, I'll probably show you guys on another video, but you just take this over the top of this. So you could do ribbons, you could do snippets, you could do so many different things. So fun to do and I can't wait to play with this the more. I used the parchment paper from Dollar Tree. Let me show you what that looks like. Looks like this. This is the parchment paper. Oh my gosh, you guys, this stuff is amazing. And it coffee dyes so well and it does a really good job on the crunchy side. So if you like the crunchy side, it does a really good job with that. And you know, it's not a lot to play around with the, the papers and make your own little designs with it. And you know I love doing that. So I made a double pocket. I made a pocket here and I made a pocket here. So what I did was I took the envelope. First I embossed it and then I came back and I um, rounded the edges with my corner rounder. Let me show you. Uh, the other corner rounder doesn't work, but I used this Zutter, because I have the Zutter machine as well. And so I use this, I use this a lot when I'm using cardstock, and it works so good on the envelope, cutting the edge off. Anything that has some thick paper, this works great with it. So here is the coffee dyed envelope, embossing folder that I use. It's an Anna Griffin rosette cluster. And you see it's not big enough to fit my envelope. So I just folded it up like this. And I put it in the embossing folder. Oops, sorry, I know it's shaking. I'm just going to run it back through this way. Okay. And that part is done. So here you have, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. So that's what I did there. Took the top of the envelope off like this. Okay. So you don't have this part, but save this because you can use it for paper. Okay, so now you have this right here, right? And then we're going to take the right side. That's just the side I use. And we're going to loosen this on this side. Okay, I'm going to cut this. So just put it on the edge like that and just cut it. You know, so perfect or whatever. Not a perfect cutter. So then now you have another little emboss piece. Okay, so we have this now and we have this, okay? And this is where you would put your washi tape, okay? 
So you could go back and you could use your piece that you cut off and you could use that for your washi tape. I'm gonna show you how I made this part work, okay? I use that parchment paper for envelopes as well. So now we're going to just glue this down. Like, and you're also going to glue on the plastic too. See where you see the window here? Just going to glue on that. And hopefully I'm in frame here. So, so it's not too bad to put this project together. If you don't like coffee dyed paper, this would be great with tracing paper. This would be great with just the white tracing paper, white parchment paper. So if you don't like, you know, that look, you could certainly do it that way. You could do it with colored tracing paper. So this is what it looks like now. Now you could stop here if you don't want the second pocket and you could totally just use this for a usable front pocket, okay? But you know how we do in crafting, we always try to come up with so many different ways to do pockets and tucks and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to keep going and we're going to make another pocket. So I'm just going to glue this down. Just another way to play with um, parchment paper. So now it becomes another pocket, right? Once you glue it all down and get it in place. Oh, I am totally bumping the camera. Sorry. I only have so much space to work on this table and I'm running out of space, you guys. Okay. I just wanted to make something with parchment paper because I love doing that. And also I wanted to make a little paper journal. So that's how that worked out. I'm doing a lot of organization. I'm doing some um, other things like uh, I did some Easter eggs. I'd been doing a lot of crafty, you know, bits in my craft room and things like that. So um, I want to come back and I want to share them with you. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you coming by and taking the time to watch my video all the way to the end. Bye everyone.